Namaste. Now we are going to talk about three levels of digestion according to Ayurveda. When we spoke initially about the digestive process, the metabolic process as Agni, we spoke mainly in the gastric level. Ayurveda describes three stages of digestion and it's important to understand this because our vitality and our health depends on three different processes of digestion. The first process is macroscopic. You put the food inside you and it goes through your digestive system and it ends in your anus and it goes out as stools and also as urine. This digestive process it goes on uh, several organs of our body and this comprehends what we Ayurveda understand as the main physiological system of our body. Anavar is rotis. If you study Ayurveda and this kind of stuff, if you don't, doesn't matter about the name in Sanskrit. And this process, you can feel it easily <laughs> because it's in your belly and you can feel it bloating and you can feel it just like uh, when you're with burning sensation and this kind of stuff. We are going to talk a little bit more about this when we start to talk on the uh, pathological process. That the first stages are mainly digestive in the digestive system. So if you take care, if you take good care of your digestive system, in Ayurveda you never have cancer, have uh, any kind of metabolic <coughs> You never have any kind of metabolic disorders, just like some <laughs> cold or this kind of stuff. Not always is possible to do this kind of thing, but okay, most of the time we have good shape. Then, um, after our digestion is in the um, small intestine, it starts to bring uh, blood to the liver and in the liver it happens a second stage of digestion. In the second stage of digestion we are going to be um, preparing the food to be um, recognized to, from our body. So the liver in Ayurveda plays a very important role to our metabolic uh, build up to our anabolic process because if the liver is not working well this phase of digestion is not going to work well just like when things get into your country it will get mainly from the airport or the seaport or the uh, train stations kind of stuff in these places there are going to be customs and the customs are going to be uh, making some arrangements to one kind of things go to one place, another kind of things go to another place. There is this discrimination between uh, things that are coming in and where they need to go. So in Ayurveda, we understand that the liver uh, segregates five principles that are going to work in our body. The first principle um, is going to create space in our body. I'm going to explain what this means. The second principle is going to create movement. The third uh, principle is going to create heat. The fourth principle is going to create moisture and uh, um, gravitational force is going to unite things. And the fifth principle is going to create stability. Just like uh, in our throat there is space between uh, the atoms there is space all our body is like a hologram around space like when you take a, a fish net there is a lot of space between the lines of the fish net but uh, you believe that the fish net is made of the uh, line 
it's also is, but it's also made of space. This concept is not very clear for the Western mind, but you can feel like this. If you have a cup, and this cup doesn't have space to put the water in or whatever, the cup is not workable. So in our, in our body, if we don't have space in our organs and uh, in our eye, in our ears and everywhere, we cannot work in our nostrils. So the first principle is space. The second principle is movement, like in our neurons, when we are speaking, all the things that are making some uh, impulse from one spot to another spot. And during this time period, there is uh, distance being traveled, but there is no changing in the thing that is being traveled, just like a neuronal impulse. The third principle is the principle of um, transforming one thing into another thing. We call this the fire principle. And the fourth principle is like the water. It makes things go together and makes things more nourishable. The fifth principle creates stability in our body. In Ayurveda, all the Newton laws are these five uh, great principles, Panchamahabhuta. The liver in Ayurveda prepares our body, prepares the food that we eat to enter in our body with these five principles. And when they go to the third level of digestion, they are stamped properly with each one of these principles and each one of these principles are going to be carried to different places. So a lot of digestive uh, enzymes are going to be under the fire principle, a lot of minerals are going to be under the earth principle, a lot of uh, things that are going to be burned to produce heat are going to be under the water principle, a lot of things that are going to nourish like uh, our brain and uh, is going to be doing the electricity to our brain to work and our nervous system is going to be under the uh, air, wind uh, component and the space is going to be uh, getting the field for all these other principles to work. And when it goes to the third level of digestion, in the cellular level, is what we call nutrition. In the first two cases, we are speaking mainly about uh, eating and food and cooking and all this stuff. But in the third level, we are relating mainly to our uh, physiological systems in a way that we have tissues. So in Ayurveda, we have seven types of tissues. I'm not going to go deep here now about this. The point is that sometimes people eat and they don't get proper tissues. It can be the bone tissue, it can be the uh, blood tissue, it can be the fat tissue, it can be the muscle tissue, it can be... I'm not going to point it at all, but the, when you eat and you have good digestive system and your body is not working well with its tissues, it's because in this cellular level, this minute level, the digestive process is not working well and Ayurveda has some also specific tenets to take care of this mainly with very deep cleansing and the rejuvenation process usually uh, called Panchakarma. Here you are not going to deal mainly with them. Of course, if you are just like working a lot and uh, very stressed in your mind and needing more energy in your brain to uh, do some tests that are exams for school or for work, this will also will take care during the Ayurvedic counseling or if you want to build up muscles, if you want to get thin, if you want to get... All these general aspects of life are included in a more um, initial state of uh, knowledge in Ayurveda. When people have uh, uh, very specific diseases, this knowledge we are speaking here is not sufficient to explain what is going on. So we are going to uh, be focusing on uh, matters that are related to health management and not 
healing um, diseases, even though the process to heal diseases also starts with promoting health. The point is that even if the person is sick, even if the person is healthy, taking care of agony, taking care of prana, ojas, and all these concepts that we spoke before are going to help. Sometimes they are going to be sufficient, like in the health management. Sometimes they are going to be needing some extra support when there are diseases uh, corrupting the uh, physiological structures. But if you are healthy and you have some uh, health imbalances, you're not actually with a strong disease, we are going to be able to make a huge difference mainly with some routine of food, of time to wake up, of time to rest, of uh, how to do this kind of breath, breathing technique and so on. In this health management uh, program that we are speaking, we are going to increase our vital vitality and also deal with some minor uh, unbalanced issues. But in Ayurveda, we have this concept of three levels of digestion. The macroscopic, the microscopic, and the meso. The one that is mainly related to what happens in the liver. And in the food and the nutrition in Ayurveda, we have this concept of the post-digestive effect. If it's going to be anabolic, or if it's going to be catabolic to the tissues. And this is one point that is very important when people are uh, wasting or uh, consum with a lot of consumption of uh, metabolic tissues or on the contrary, okay? So we are just explaining in general uh, perspective. Uh, please remember that the information for your case and your specific condition is going to be attended on Ayurvedic consultations online. Just remember that. And I also, uh, if you like to like the video and share and this kind of stuff, please do it. Okay? Uh, let's go for the another video, the next video, and see you soon. Namaste.